mkurugenzi <laughs> Mo man mkurugenzi mini souls na kama k kuna watu kwa hii dunia wanakoga tu gifted hii yao ni, ni ni talanta yani ni ya kuzaliwa it is inborn mshaikutana na wase they have never been to any tech school hawaja why enda shule hata moja ya computer but they are just tech geniuses Like anaingia tu kwa mashini yako hivi kidogo kidogo oh, oh ameingia huko mpaka play wewe wow, ukiona mtu ameingia mahali alafu screen ana operatia ni dark huyo si mtu hivi hivi wewe ni mtu yani anajua yani computer kwa undani so mwenye story yetu ya leo maze is such a person he is he's just born gifted any gadget any device akona tu uwezo ya kuingia ndani na kuijua maze in ways that many people do not get to but i mean insist sana maze uh, yuko proud na hii story na nijaribu as much as possible maze nisim nisiwekele details ambazo zitampeana eh, sababu yeah bado anaendelea kupona <laughs> now first of all there's something i've noticed kuna kitu ina happen nyeri na sijui ni nini hiyo but it needs to be investigated because it's beautiful nyeri is now the hub of techies funny enough in fact mwenye anatu uh, manager ga site yetu kanyi ni boy wa nyeri nyeri maze is popping sa hii kifika story ya it nini story to anything to do with tech na sijui mbona i don't know why nyeri very weird una expect vitu kai hizo zikuwe kwa major towns kabisa Mombasa na Nairobi hata eh, maybe hata Eldoret no, okay yeah, maybe Eldoret sababu kuna a lot of but Nyeri is it Nyeri is where it's at now our main character eh acha tumuite acha tumuite Ous which is weird Ous ametoka Nyeri but ni sawa to maintain tu Ous ni kijana mzee ametoka kwa familia ambayo haijiwezi kusema tu ukweli ni familia iko chini eh, but Mungu ni mkubwa sababu somewhere in his primary school life anaangukia eh, sponsor wanaita go sponsor eh mwenye wanasomesha ga watoto ni sponsors yeah? sponsor yes good mmearibu hiyo jina mpaka nasikia weird <laughs> <laughs> so anapata sponsor mzee akiwa primary school and this guy is gracious enough and kind enough to take him through his entire primary and secondary secondary education so anamtandikisha hapo nini mpaka form 4 and for some reason oh this is just brilliant ni boy too deadly ako ako sawa kabisa So Usa na maliza form 4 na mdhamini ameshafanya kazi yake bana at least unajua the least unaweza patia mtu ni hiyo basic education hii tertiary unaweza dipeleka hata ukizeeka hiyo ndio uzuri ya tertiary tertiary inaga utaingia university hata ukiwa 40 na utasoma tu but hii hi, hi crucial ni hii ambako ufike miaka 18 na the sponsor alifanya hiyo shughuli sawa sawa na ikakuwa ndio hivyo e, jamaa katulia mtaa kidogo um, akupata grades za kumpatia parallel Uh, university pale i mean kumpati kumuingiza job ile regular so kupata ile udhamini ya serikali uh, ili iligonga nje kiasi but alikuwa na grades pia za kumuingiza kampuni vile angeenda ile program nyingine ile self sponsored na inakuwa costly inakuwa domo kiasi so yeye yeah, kama ni you know what acha ni nitafuta tu vitu za kufanya fanya hapa na pale ni nini, nini mambo ita ile siku itajipa ni itajipeleka tu kampo ina mambo So it time yote yako nje ana interact tu na gadgets na like computers akipata ka computer pale anaingia anafanya mambo yake anaijua kwa ndani kaka kuna vitu waelewi anaingia kwa cyber anaenda kwa youtube ana waindi yeah, yeah, send me notes wana kwa gwa deadly sana kwa hizo mambo za za ma IT na nini na nini anaingia huko anasikiza muindi hapo akifanya akichambua chambua mambo ni yani jamaa this time ako nyumbani yani ana come ana gather knowledge nyingine ya computers insane then kitu inakaa inamwambia you know what sasa nyingine si waga tunaumia sababu ya kukosa kuuliza unajua si tulikaa tu chini tukajiambia mdhamini amenisomesha mpaka form 4 so hakuna haja ya kumsumbua for tertiary education tukakosa kumuuliza na je twende tu tujaribu sababu ha si the worst anaweza sema ni no hata tupiga wacha niende nijaribu nione kama atakubali niingie kampo anisukume kampo so the guy goes to 
his sponsor ule mwenye alimsomesha primary in high school anamwambia ni aje mtu wangu by the way sijai kuambia ah nilikualify au unajofiti nilikualify kwenda uni but eh, mazesi kuwa ingia eh hey, mdhamia na shin mbona wewe si unajua tu situation pale mzee elini ah na mbona ukuta mimi unajua mimi niliona umeenda umenyamaza nini nikajua mambo yako iko sawa ulipata namna huko kumbe uko hii enda chuo ah kaambia mzee sikuenda chuo mzee eh, so nikasema tu afadhali niulize eh, ukatae kuliko nikose kuuliza na maybe wewe ni mtu ndio utanitoa kwa ngori akaambia of course mzee tumengangana na wewe kutoka primary secondary nitashindwa na miaka 4 ya university surely Ah, jamaa, kwa hivyo utanipeleka chuo? Of course. Enda niletee zile vitu zote wanahitaji ni nini nini. Ya, ingia, fanya kile unataka. Unataka kufanya mambo gani? Akaambia mimi mambo ya kompyuta ndio mambo yangu, mimi nitaka kufanya hiyo. Ah, okay. Let's do that. So mga guys akaenda mazee ile shule alikuwa ameitwa akatafuta hizo ma structures nini kila kitu kakuja kaletea mzee hapa mwenye mdhamini. Mzee akaangalia akaona okay, he, si cheap ile ngoa but pia si super expensive. It's not USIU money. No. Ni it's reasonable. Hii hii tunaweza ngangana na ukijana. Eh, plus eh, the sponsor si ati ni mtu alikuwa anangangana. Ni msepi ameunda tu pesa twake so ni kitu ya chap chap. Akamwambia it's done. Yeah. Sasa. So ndakurushia pesa ya school fees we si utajipanga admission nini we ni mtu mzima hizo ni vitu hazifai kukusumbua akamwambia mimi nikiwa tu na hiyo do ni kwenda kulipa pale niingie daro na nianze kazi mudhamini akamwekea pesa pale pap na akamwambia in fact na dio university watu wagawana lala kwa hostel sababu eh, but sababu wewe hujapata hiyo regular program na dio unaweza kosa hostel here is an additional 25000 tafuta ka bed sita hapo eh, furnish kidogo upate kameko ka kupika mambo yako wakati utaki kupika small chazi kwa hapo nje fanya mambo yako like jipange vizuri hapo nje ni ukwe na malazi wewe unaenda shule ukitoka shule uko na place ya kulala ah beautiful iko sawa kabisa so jamaa amepatiwa hii pesa yote akaenda nyumbani akakaa chini akajiuliza wa hii kitu naenda kusomea university already mtu wa send me no des ashanifundisha kwa nini niende ni muage hii pesa yote university nisome kitu already najua ai hata kama ni nini no hakuna university naenda huyu mdhamini nitakuwa naenda na kwake kila semester ananipatia school fees mimi naingia mitini na fanya mambo yangu so huyu jamaa akaanza kuokota gatu pesa kwa mdhamini hiyo design kumbukeni anapatiwa fee kubwa six figure maybe hata ya yeah, six figure alafu anaongezwa ma 25k hapa juu za sijui nini ma 1000 hapa na pale sababu kuna trip sijui ya kwenda wapi 15000 inahitajika sijui ya kufanya nini madhamini yanatoa tu anatoa tu the guy anamuokota proper let me tell you by the end of the first year alikuwa amekula pesa ya madhamini karibu 300 and something thousand eh shule hakanyagi lakini pale kwa tech ni mdeadly anaenda akiiva mbaya akiwa tu shughuli zake the boy anaishi lavishly ako na pesa ana discover rafiki yake ako na shida ya school fees ah ana shindo una kosa haja school fees wewe are you normal <laughs> kuja ni kuonyesha mali utasaidika anashika kijana mkono anampeleka kwa mudhamini anamwambia manze unasema ga mimi uju boy u boy ni wembe hapa <laughs> school fees tu ndio amekosa. Ukishanilipia zangu, unabaki shanga change kiasi tunaweza saidia huyu mtu aingie darasa. Ah, mdhamini ana okay, kama ni bright boy, ni sawa. Wacha nitam Ah, ni sawa, wacha ingie kwa program. Akaingia kwa mfuko, kapatia kijana, kijana akaenda aka enroll na akaanza shule. So, huyu kijana mwenye amekuja sasa, si ni marafiki na huyu. Wana wan discuss discuss ma vitu hapa na pale ni nini nini? Of course akamwambia unajua mdhamini ananilipiaga fee lakini mimi siendaki chuo hiyo pesa mimi weka kwa mfu kwa mfuko hapo ndio makosa ya kwanza iliingilia oh okay so wenda kichuo eh hey, hey, naenda chuo kwa nini hizo vitu wanaenda kufundisha huko ni vitu najua ya yeah, so sioni aja okay sasa so, na hiyo story hata ikaishi hapo na wakaendelea tu na maisha mdogo mdogo huyu kijana mwenye ameletwa si akapata dem ya yeah? kuna kitu ina happeningi ukiwa na msichana kwa pilo 
hata huku umechukua kiapo <coughs> sijui mbona inakuaga hivyo na kunaga udakutamu kama hiyo ya pilo aka udaku ka hapa hapa kwa pilo hapa una ropo kangwa unashindwa kwa nini why sasa mbona nimemwambia hivyo really kwa pilo ni mahali pa kumwambia 1997 tuliibia muindi shwali so anamfungukia anamwambia guess what unajua ous yeye ndio aliniorganizea mpaka sasa inalipiwa school fees unajua pia yeye analipiwa school fees na guess what hiyo pesa yote anaikanga kwa mfuko <laughs> siambie mtu nimekushoka alipangi chuo huyu jamaa usha imeona akienda shule but anaokotanga fee kila semester na mudhamini amemlipia mpaka place rent amemfanishia bed, eh, eh, bed sita safi every month without fail analipa ai oh sana kula rais down but usiambie mtu sa sa na hiyo story inaishi hapo oh sasa amefika mahali amekuwa baba hapa ana yani a, ni deadly akajiuliza na hii skill nimegather naweza supplement aje hii pesa ya mdhamini sababu pesa ya mdhamini ni deadly lakini naona niko na opportunity ya kuongeza hii pesa idea moja mufti sana ikamkujia hii ni, ni world class hii hata nyinyi mtaipenda now skieni osaka discover kumbe Nairobi ni ile ile huyu anakupea yule ananipea msomaji wa Nairobi vile na operate so pia nyeri iko hivyo huyu ako na demi yake but pia anakuaga na ule demi ya huyu pia ako na mzee pale <laughs> akajua sasa hapo ndio nataka kuokota pesa vizuri so ous alikuwa tu ana need dakika moja na simu yako One minute ni aje buda Manzi kuna msenda jaribu ku na ashiki simu. Babu ni pige na simu yako nione kama ni mimi ananilenga. Unampatia simu, anaingia App Store ama Play Store ana record, ana download kitu inaitwa Connect I think. Ana download alafu anaificha katikati ya ma apps uko utawai utawaiona rais. My friend Asha ingia kwa gadget yako. Ni mu deadly design akiwa na hiyo mpaka nashindwa alijuaje hiyo kitu. Ana need to kuingia tu kwa nini yako e, sijui anatumia namba yako ama ni nini anatumia kila activity unafanya kwa phone yako anaiona ni noma design hata password ukiweka inamuonyesha ah password hapo ni nani okay okay so before long asha ingia kwa ma app zako ni nini nini asha ingia kwa ma dm zako asha gundua kumbe wewe uko na dm yako hapa lakini mnatumia naga vitu nyeti na ule asha discover hata si picha peke yake kumbe nyu kutana mna exchange vitu nyeti ah very nice anachukua hiyo evidence yote vizuri anachukua kalain fulani ambaye atumiagi anaingia pale kwenye whatsapp anaku contact anakuambia ni aje madi niko na ripoti yako hapa kiasi kidogo kidogo sip 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 picha tatu moto moto alafu anaeka hapo wa mwisho kama uko na 10k itansaidia sana ukiona hiyo mazena una between ni ngori na 10k wacha nitoe tu 10k ngori ishe mali ninasalimia ous ni the fact that i know most uh, wanaita extortionist waga ukiwa pair ni hivyo anarudi hapo kila mwezi mtashindaga hivyo but ous ni ngori design ukishamlipa mumemalizana in fact ana delete kila kitu ni mdeadly mpaka anazidelete kwako eh kwa simu yake anazidelete kwako ndio next time usiingie kwa hii ngori nimezidelete kwako na nimezidelete kwangu wazi ni hivyo uko sawa Mungu akubariki sana god bless you we ni mtu wa nguvu na anaachana na wewe kesho ataenda pale kwa mechi aingie kwa tabi pale apige pale kwa sti by the time anapiga wiki mzima ametandika kama watu 10 mchezo mchezo na hawajui hawajui wanapigwa na nani so mse anaendelea kuivisha kuivisha mbaya so anakula pesa ya mdhamini alafu anaokota ma 10 g's kwa raia yani ni mbaya design mpaka alikuwa anaangalia wale wase respectable members in the society Oh. Huyu ni ni pasta kwa kanisa ya Wakorino. Ha, tutapatana. Ha, tutapatana. 
habari mzee 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 ndio simu yako tu kidogo nipigie mtu simu 2 minutes che kidogo kidogo watu hawana nguo nikilemba peke yake masimu zimetumwa mapicha kila mahali alafu hapo chini tenda uzaya salimo ah salimo kumbe uko area ai eh hey, nilikuwa nimesahau bana representative kwa area hey, hey. sasa unaona anaenda akiwaokota mbaya deadly so ikafika mahali akaanza kujiuliza na watu wangu wa karibu nimekuwa nikipiga watu wa mbali <laughs> ha watu wangu wa karibu je kwanza kuna huyu kijana nimemshikanisha na mudhamini wangu wanakuaga na demu yake kila mahali oh wakidanganyana vile ni Love Davis wacha niingie kwa hiyo simu yake nigundue nione ai hata ilimchukua dakika tano akapata kijana wake a a a a a ni hatari a ako na binti sijui fulani wapi huko wanatambariza proper akasema no huyu mti yangu nilimorganize na kula pesa ya sponsorship huko kuna ubaya nikikula taxi yake kidogo si hata nipone na elfu kumi yake nisikie vizuri. Ah, picha 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 picha. Oya gade, nirushie ka 10 Gs bana history ishe. So boy aka panic. Eh akashindwa wa, umse ni nani? Ametoa wapi information? How does he do it? So jamaa naona ndio nifunike ngori wacha nitafute 10 Gs nitume eh tumalizane. Akaenda katafuta 10 Gs lakini hakutuma hapa ndio makosa ya pili inaingilia jamaa ali change tactic watu wali report ile line ambayo alikuwa anatumia kuchukua pesa akaona sasa nikianza hii biashara ya kuchukua gana Mpesa hivi inaweza nimezeshea e, jusina hata ile ID ile register hii line sina nini so waso kizima siezi siezi irudisha juu sina sina idea juu unajua hiyo line i read os ni, ni line ya mtu tu fulani i don't normally alito so sasa hii story ya kucheza na mpesa ikaanza kukuwa tricky ikakuwa sasa nitakuwa nachukua hiyo do physically but since nikikujia physically utaniona tunaicheza kimajuu tunaicheza kisinema wetu ki agree na kuambia tukutane mahali fulani kuna kamaskan fulani iwekelee hapo toka enda wao sijali mtu atakuja ichukue kumbe hakuna mtu atakuja achukue ni yeye so vile alitandika huu rafiki yake wa karibu alimwambia hivyo ni aje wekelea ehe mali fulani nitakuja nichukue i mean mse mwingine atakuja achukue achukue bas na jamaa wakamalizana sasa huu jamaa si ashapatia na instructions na yeye akatoka akaenda akakaa mahali angoje ule mtu amwambie ni aje nishawekelea kidogo kidogo ujumbe ikaingia ni aje master mali niliambia niwekelee ile pesa nishawekelea ah very nice akabangaiza kama dakika tano, kumi, at least huo msa ende ende fa akatokelezea sasa anatembea towards mali wali agree kumbe hii route anatumia kukuja ule mwenye rafiki yake ameshawekelea pesa ame, anatumia hiyo route kurudi ajatumia ile route alikuja nayo mazesi wanagongana barabara wanaulizana he rada ni gani nini ah jamaa anasema yako round zake ni nini e, aina mambo na wakaachana na umse mwingine akaendelea kwenda mali ile pesa umse amewacha but kitu ikaambia um jamaa what are the odds mbona ni wewe nimekutana na wewe inaweza kuwa wewe ndio unanifanya mbaya junani mwingine tuko close hiyo design anaweza pata hiyo information kama hiyo lazima ikuwe ni mtu wangu mtu ako karibu But then again ana jambi hapana. Umse alinuhuka mpaka na sponsor bana yani haezi nifanya mbaya. Namba 2 sijawahi mkosea. No haiwezi kuwa yeye. Ah, na akalenga tu. Jamasi alienda akachukua ile pesa mali wa Mea Green nini na akaiaka kwa mfuko kidogo kidogo wakapatana. A few minutes later walipatana. I think walipatana kwa keja ya uboe or something. But u uboe wa kufanywa mbaya, hii kitu iko kwa mind yake dead. Yana shindwa nani anaweza kuwa kona hiyo information na miingia mpaka kwa DM zangu kitu inamwambia ah, ah ni uboyo wangu ni vile tu sijui nitampataje akasema tu ile kijoks joks eh hey, by the way kuna ngori niko nayo ah, unaweza kuna 2G hapo mazao nisaidie nifanye ma 1212 ule boy akaingia kwa mfuko akawa na mambo akatoa stack ya noti 
exactly yenye ule boy aliyekelea pale unaona pia boy pia sasa yeye ni chopi lakini hapa aliangusha kiasi akatoa thao mbili akampatia oh boy si mjinga aliangalia hiyo stack hiyo 10 g's ule imetolewa kwa mfuko akajua hii doni mimi nilikuwa nayo unajua ndio umekuwa nayo unaijuaga Eh hey, unaijuaga unaiona kata hivi unaje ido ido hata niki smell ndasikia harufu yangu hii na si uongo i think aliipitisha kwa online ni yangu umse amenifanya hivyo kwa nini bata kasema ni sawa haidhuru mnakumbuka nikianza story tulianzia pale kwa pilo akarudi hapo akaambia demi yake unajua nini beb kuna kitu ime happen na umse wetu si mzuri. Bwana sasa ako kwa situation tricky sababu wezi ambia dem yake ni nini imehape. Unajua sasa hii ni between a sticky ya rock and a hard place. Jisa dem atashangaa ehe. Kwani? Ala amepata picha gani hizo ehe? Ah, so hakuna. So akaambia tu jamaa simpoa dealings zako na yeye kama mko nazo waachana nazo umse nitapeli ni mse mbaya. So jitoe kwa hiyo situation kabisa. Jitoe, jitoe, jitoe kabisa. Eh hey, so dem akashindwa what? Kwani tu bishte yetu ni jangili eh hey, ni msem z deadly. Odem alienda akakaa chini akafikiria akasema eh hey, kama mse ni jangili I think ni poa tumstop. Hakuna haja tujue mtu ni jangili na tunyamaze. Afadhali tu tuse tuseme. So mdem gumu si gupili alienda straight mpaka kwa sponsor. Akamwambia ni aje mtu yangu. Aki najua hii ni husu lakini mimi sitasimama maovu ya kitafanya nini ya kitawala ule kijana mwenye unalipia ga school fees hakuna shule anaendaga mama mama enda kwa hiyo shule yao ulize kama washaiona hiyo sura yake anywhere sponsor kwa naamini maze mpaka akapiga simu huko shule ni kuna mwanafunzi ni anaambiwa kuna mtu kama huyo ashaikamu what akaambiwa maze nitapeli deadly ndio tena pia huyo sponsor ki design akaanza kukaa chini akaanza kujiuliza wait Inaweza kuwa apart from tu kuninyang'anya na history ya school fees. Anaweza kuwa pia ndio aliniorganizea mapicha zangu fulani zikapatikana fulani nika, nika extortiwa pia mimi. Akakaa makaita ule ule kijana. Sasa ameacha ku na wife na girlfriend. Akaita kijana. Akawa unajua kuna vitu zingine uwezi ongea na mrembo hapo na wewe ni mzee. So akaita kijana akamwambia ni aje kuna kitu demi yako ameniambia ni nini? Na no. Nimesema tu nikupigie niongee ni na wewe juu ndio mtu unakaa kuelewa. Unajua kuna mapicha fulani alinilipatikana kwa simu yangu siku fulani na ni mtu tu alizipata na akani blackmail 10,000. The boy akamwambia ni yeye. Hata mimi aliingia kwa simu yangu akapata hizo picha akanini ni 10 Gs. Ni it's him. It's the guy. Ay 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 amaze sponsor amaze amewaka dead. Ametoka amekuja na kila mtu chief, sub chief, makarao, karibu kuja mpaka na area MCA. Yaani kila mtu ameenda amewachukua wote amekuja teke teke mpaka mali huo boy yuko. Wameenda wamepata boy amebangaiza tu mahali hapo kwa seat akashuka kwa pikipiki akamwambia ni aje mtu wangu umekuwa kitu extort. Tu umekuwa kitufanya mbaya. Nimekuwa nikikulipia fee na mapesa zingine nyingi nimekuwa nikikupatia ukiniambia uko shule na kuna shule umekuwa ukienda. Mtu yangu pigwa pingu yako safi pandishwa hii pikipiki tunakupeleka mpaka stage straight. Lazima unirudishe hiyo pesa yote tumespend na Niko na zile marisiti zote umekuwa kinitisha nao. Huyu sponsor alikoga kila time akilipa kitu anaitisha receipt. Mtu anajua kuhack mpaka ma social media za watu watashindwa kuforge receipt. Maanze wanapata hizo receipt zote e, pf, ni bandia, hakuna kitu. But saa uzuri kijana ameshikwa, ameingizwa ndani, e, of course lazima akimbizwe kotini. Siko shua kali kubali mashtaka ama alikataa. Ah, by the way ajaniambia hiyo story. Oh the case is still ongoing. Ah yeah yeah yeah. Eh bado case inaendelea. Eh but eh, anasema ni kitu inamsumbua deadly. Eh, ana regret kwa nini alifanya hivyo juu. Especially hao watu wake wa karibu. Jo hao wase wake ni walikuwa maraido dai wake jo. Mbona grid ilifanya akafika hiyo design ya kuwafanya mbaya hivyo. Ina inambo inambo deadly deadly. Yeah. So the case is still ongoing. I think oh, itamalizwa sometime mimi mwaka. But eh It is what it is man. Yeah. Even ndio kijana ali alilegea za. Yaani talent iko ni vile tu ali direct mali ya iFi. Yeah. Tuna wish all the best I hope arekebishe. Eh, na atumie hiyo talent yake into good use. Bas, acha ni nifungie hapo guys. Inafaa kwa minisa so that iFi kwa mrefu hivyo. Mm. Adios muchachos guys. Peace.